Oh, you know me? Yeah, before we caught it before we oh. they wanted to train. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh. Uh, yeah. That's that's because I saw you at the airport. Oh shit! No, good effort. Oh no, thank Obviously, you. I'm yeah, over here. No, it's absolutely awesome. If, um, Probably can't see me. Hello, all my. I've made it to Jerusalem. The feeling, both in Tel Aviv, I landed, and here, so far, it's like normal. It's like any city. And this is what I expected, but I'm just gonna give it a hurry on. And I am meeting a friend, but. There is a bit of a police military presence, but I'm unsure if that's normal or not, but the flight's a little long. Let's see if I can find who's picking me up. So we're just on the way to Barry, and you can hear a lot of artillery fire. One just, I believe, went out just as I clicked uh, film on this, but as we're going, we're seeing massive staging points for a heap of armoured vehicles, as well as SPGs being self-propelled guns, like the 155 millimeters. These are definitely in range from here uh, to Gaza. You can probably see behind me maybe some more military vehicles moving through as well. So they'd definitely be able to be artillery barrage from here into Gaza as well. As we're seeing a lot more missile strikes and whatever coming out only in the past uh, 24 hours before a lot of people are thinking we will then see a further roll in of a ground invasion. We are in a fairly safe location. Still trying to work out body armor. That's a problem. There's just none in the whole fucking country but we will see. So it is fairly quiet at the moment, but some of the outgoing, I don't know if you heard that, you can hear a lot of the outgoing artillery. We just pretty much drove past um, like a massive area. I've got it filmed on just my other camera. Um, massive area where they've got up and all the staging um, of armored vehicles. So this one might be a little bit more boring because we're just not in the area. I'm guessing you heard that one. That was a large bang. Me shit myself a little bit. So, oh, we have a strike. Or well, something went out just behind us here. You'll see a lot of stuff moving in and out, a lot of vehicles, a lot of buses. Like, one of the main things is buses like this you'll see come behind me, like that. A lot of that just moving like people out. But we'll see if we can move through uh, this position. What we will be. No, the locals are giving us no flak at all. They really want us here. I think it's just more of like a protection too. Um, sorry, my hand's going dead. Like, you know, don't want uh, too many journalists moving forward into areas where there still could be active fighting. So what we saw um, only recently was, well, last night, was uh, they were there and then it was basically a cleared area in Sudarot. And then basically what happened was there are fighters still like held up in some of those areas that they haven't completely cleared out everything yet. So I might be like in and out. You can hear two then of the artillery. I, I, what do you have sworn before I heard some like small arms? Yeah, I can hear. Oh yeah, we've got small arms fire as well. So just hold off on a sec. Just wait out. Just give us a sec. Can you tell us what happened just there? Yeah, it's a suicide drone. It's a suicide drone? What? You're okay. Just stay in there. Just stay in there, you'll be safe. So, boys, can I move past you? Sorry, mate. So, we had a suicide drone, and then that's what the boys were shooting at from there. Didn't get it on camera, apologies for that. So through here, you can see some. It was a suicide drone, wasn't it? Yeah. Was that, did you see it? I didn't see yeah, it. Yeah, I saw it. Right. Man, that was fucking scary. It was scary? Yeah. yeah you're live, by the way. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> My boy. Man, that's it's, it's that's scary awesome. that they have these kind of capabilities now and that yeah. these soldiers aren't really equipped to deal with suicide drones, to be honest with you. Like, not yeah. one of them picked up their guns and shot at the drone. Oh, I had a few small arms. But, like, yeah, but the but, thing is, there's not, not that guns. much to engage back with either. Like... Yeah, but I saw them in the north the other days. The soldiers yeah. were trying to shoot at it. I right. know it's a hard target to get yeah. from this kind of vantage point, but still, uh, it's 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 fucking scary that war is coming to this. You know, we were talking about it 20 years ago that the future of war is not going to be you know us yeah. and 
now these little, you know, how much do drones cost? Oh, fuck all. Fuck all, bucks, exactly. Yeah. You're local, aren't you? I am. Yeah. I live here uh, for the last three years. Well, you can hear them fighters coming in. Sorry, yeah. Do have in the yeah, bottom line is I think they need to go in the ground and clean it out house to house. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they have a choice here. So you see a lot of dust popping up from here. This is where some come down. You can also see uh, down here, probably not brilliant, but you can also see there's an artillery system and a tank, I believe, down there. My eyes might not be the fucking best. Right here. So you see a chopper here. I hope you guys can see the stream if I'm not blocking it. Blocking it. Right, so the Apache has turned back. Again, you won't see it, but you'll bloody hear the fast air. And I'm a shit of film with the eyes, huh? G'day legends, I hope you're doing really well. Now, today was really my first day out on the ground, getting a feel for what is going on. But the real big news of the day is the Israeli Defense Force has given like a 24 hour period for the residents in the north of Gaza to move to the south. And this is about 1.1 million residents that have to move. And we don't really know how that is gonna look or how it's gonna go. Now the World Health Organization has called this, quote, a death sentence for the vulnerable hospital patients. And the Palestinian president, uh, Mohammed Abbas, has told the US Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, that he rejects the forced displacement. So, and we'll actually see how that is going, but this ties into the big news of the day, being that we'll probably most likely see a ground invasion over the next 24 hours, that this is the setup precursor to that, that everyone moves out of the north and then the ground invasion goes off. And what we have seen today is mass buildup of troops, armored vehicles. And we have seen that from the very, very beginning of this in the south of the country. There's still a number of incidents going on. They're still finding people pretty much laying low from Hamas who are still in Israel. And there's been a number of events throughout the day as it has been for a day of aggression by, uh, or asked for by Hamas. So it's very interesting. Now, there are some problems. Don't have body armor at the moment. Uh, still working on that and getting the money together uh, for that. It is very expensive. There's not much in the country. And as well as access. So access in any war zone is a big problem for journalists like myself. It's easy when you work for Fox, but not when you're smaller with certain bits and pieces, even just down to getting the right fixer and the right contact. So any of that uh, can help. So thank you guys for all your support there. But I know this video was just a bit of a mashup between things. I'm just doing some new bits and pieces on the ground and we will see how we go from here. But we're definitely not done yet. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be very much more uh, to come. I'm not sure how long I'm gonna be here for yet because my flights home have been canceled. Uh, but I do need to be home for a brain tumor scan at some point. So I hope that you're looking after yourselves and I hope you're enjoying some of this and also getting on the live streams. Now with the live streams, they're not gonna be as planned on uh, time and days or I can't really post the links anywhere just because the way I'm doing it on my phone as incidents happen, uh, but there'll also be live streams happening. So probably the best way is to click on like the subscribe thing on me and put on notifications, I think, something like that, hit the bell. I, don't, I think it's different to that now, but whatever it is. But look after yourselves and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Cheers.